Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Monday, March 6, 2023, and this is a work session for the Salisbury City Council. Uh, first item on our agenda is going to be an ordinance to change the rate for billboards. Uh, Keith Cordry, our Director of Finance. You have the floor, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Yes, we have an ordinance to change the billboard license fee uh, back to the rate that was charged in the prior year. We're asking that the fee be revised retroactively uh, to the beginning of the year, 7 one uh, After further review, we determined that the rate that was charged in the previous year was more appropriate. Do we have to do any refunds or? We've got everything taken care of that way okay. if, you, if you authorize it. Any questions or comments? All right. Uh, consensus to put this on the next agenda? Yep. Right. Yes. Next item is the uh, ordinance to move funds for the GOB renovation and relocation. Uh, that's a budget amendment to fund the necessary improvements to uh, the new government office building and also the existing one to accommodate all of the revisions that are uh, planned to take place. And any details, uh, this gentleman right here <laughs> inform you. So, yeah, this is what we're, we've been discussing, um, using funds that have been identified within open projects or existing funds to complete the expansion into the city, the Salisbury Fire Headquarters building, and then um, the renovations within the offices here to complete the plan that we've discussed previously. So this is just the accounting to make all of that happen. Questions or comments? None. Uh, just for clarification, you can see it's mostly um, um, reallocation of PAYGO money that was previously transferred from the general fund to the capital project fund. And so the good news is, is we're, we're, we're cleaning out a lot of accounts by uh, making use of these funds. It's tough sometimes to find the appropriate project when you got funds in there, but you all have done a really good job over the years at identifying it and using it when we need it. Um, just, uh, Ashley, you're going to have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing that popped into my head. Uh, so, uh, everybody, uh, we have consensus to move this forward to the next meeting? Yes. Right. Kim will place that on yes, next Monday's agenda. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Uh, next up was supposed to be Brian Soper. Mm -hmm. uh, text amendment for Harbor Point. Phase three. So, in, um, he's not here. I'm trying to reach out to him. Do we want to point of order move to the next item and then come back if he is, or I can table it either way? We can do that. So the other item on the agenda agenda was uh, looking at the uh, current boards and commissions. Um, I'm moving over to uh, some of Jack's um, and I don't know if you did everybody take a look at the list of what we had. Yeah, so um, the Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee should be um, should be hey. Angela because she and I switched that in the library because of scheduling for both of us. It just kind of worked out. Mm -hmm. That we both needed to reschedule. Uh, schedule. So, um, see the uh, green team, uh, Megan, uh, already on it and active in it. Michelle, Michelle had picked up another one, so it would be best if she 
Yeah, it would be, it'd be great. You sure you don't want like six of them? I, th- you know, <laughs> funnily enough, no, that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm totally okay. No, I know Megan. Megan is well versed in what the what the um, sustainability committee has been doing. Um, she's been a part of the green team just as a a regular citizen, and I know she'll do great as as the city council member for it. So, Michelle, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, Megan's also going to be doing Pack 14. Uh, April's going to take to Parks and Rec. Um, and the, tr- the new one, the Truth and Reconciliation Committee, April will be uh, taking on that one. Okay. So April is the Truth and Reconciliation. Okay, yeah. So April has, I just want to make sure everybody's got. <laughs> Is that, I guess that's all, that's everything and on those. All right, so that, um, jump back. Mr. Soper, how are you doing, sir? Yeah, he thought it was 15 minutes early, but. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, all right, okay. Uh, thank you again, Mr. President, members of the council. Uh, we have before you is a, a text amendment to uh, Harbor Point Phase 3 yeah, in the zoning code. Uh, pretty much this is consistent with some previous planning commission approvals. Uh, the owner of the property came to us uh, kind of trying to lay out their future for the property. Um, after some review, we thought this was the best path forward to make it consistent um, with where they want to go and what we feel the needs for the community are based on when the Harbor Point Phase 3 was first approved uh, nearly three decades ago. So the consistency is um, <clears throat> to subdivide out the cottages into fee simple lots. Um, that is sh- that would be shown on a subdivision plat. There is currently a care home there. Um, that use has been added um, and allow for expansion on a separate lot. And then the potential future for a very uh, for a elderly and handicapped apartment building. Um, we feel it's a very good use to be consistent um, <clears throat> for for the aging community as they go from a fee simple lot to a handicapped apartment to eventually a care home. Uh, it's a good mix of use for that area. Uh, we feel it's a very much needed housing as well. Questions or comments about the changes? I just know how sorely this is needed. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, you know, our own family has, we have elderly family members who need something better than what they've got. It's not, it's where they live now. It's not suitable. And it really, this is desperately needed in the community. So, yeah. Talking to a couple people this week and they had a family member who needs something in between mm-hmm. nursing home and, and, exactly. and their own. And it's, it's, it's tough. Mm-hmm. Uh, Absolutely. So. Um, all right, so we uh, no further questions, everybody okay? Consensus to move this forward? Yes. Yes. Right. We'll place this on. Uh, Kim, now will we have to do a, is this going to go through the whole round of? So it'll need a public hearing. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so we'll have to advertise. So first reading could be next Monday, but then second will have to be either the next following meeting if we can get it advertised. First reading Monday night, and then then we schedule a second reading and public hearing. Is in the independent? Yeah, I just had on one of our associates finish a memo that I just got, so I was going to forward that to you with what we we're able to do, and then what we. Statutes, and then if you want to use your connection to see if we can maybe get some legislation at the state level to make it easier for us. I will um, reach out to Todd, and we'll we'll see what we can come up yeah. with. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of late in the game on on that legislation in Annapolis, yeah. but uh, maybe I'll Probably reach out to him. I'm, I'm going to be in MML this week. I got to go one day, so I'll, I'll I'll talk with them up there to see what we can. Uh, 
been a recurring discussion amongst Maryland municipal attorneys. I think everyone realizes that there is an issue, but it needs to be changed above. We were so desperate. We were looking at the guide. <laughs> yes, we were. <laughs> yes. Wow. I mean, it, it's everybody <laughs> reads it. So, I mean, that's, you know, mm -hmm. but, okay. All right, so we'll place this on the next agenda, move forward with uh, advertisements and everything with it. I think we're good, sir. Thank you all. Thank you, Brian. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Go to, let's go to public comments. We got one, uh, Robert Hudson. Oh, podium. Oh, yeah. I'm Robert Hudson. I live at 805 Federal Street. Um, Friday morning, 1.30 a.m., I was sound asleep. Two guys were banging on my door, woke me up. Um, I called the police, 911. I asked them to make a run through the neighborhood, see if they could find them. And uh, they, they didn't, and I also asked them to come back to my door because I would ask questions. They didn't come back to my door, so I called the non-emergency police number and I'm a little disappointed in the non-emergency police department because you got to push one for English. And I'm also a little disappointed with the police because it seems like I'm either getting a runaround or I can't get straight answers. The only answer I got as far as um, trying to deal with this and not and protect myself and make it better is to get a doorbell camera. Um, no one said if they broke in if I'm allowed to protect myself in any shape or form or if I'm allowed to protect my property in any shape or form. This is getting worse as far as public safety, I guess. If, if that's not the right word, I apologize. But um, there's a house catacorn behind me that's been broken into three times. I talked to the college kids about it. The police cannot share any information about it. They say it's private information. Um, that's in my backyard almost. And the board, the Two windows are boarded up on the back of that house. And I'm thinking, why can't you get the landlord to fix that? The uh, tenant said something to the landlord, said the landlord's no big rush to fix it. The house, I think it's on the corner of Pennsylvania and Federal, was boarded up on the first floor because I've been told that people are breaking into it and it's been for sale for over a year. During the summer, the grass is not cut. The city has to cite whoever lives there. And uh, as far as also, I'm sorry, as far as the um, people banging on my door, I think the police need to go through some training again because at first the question was, are they black? Well, I don't know if they were black. They had hooded sweatshirts on, and I wasn't going too close to the door because I wasn't sure if they are going to break in. And then when I got to talk to the police, somebody thought they might be college students that had been out partying and gone to the wrong door. That's a guess. I don't know if that's true or not. But I really don't appreciate being woke up 1.30 in the morning and no one can give me a better answer. I called today to speak to uh, Howie Drewer. I know he's a lieutenant or a captain or something, and I know him personally. I got put on hold, and when I got to speak to the person about that, she was the same person that I spoke to Friday morning. I'm like, is there a good time to call him? Can I email him? None of that information was given. Um... And also, let's see, this past fall, the college party pretty good down my neighborhood. There was trash up and down the street. Been the worst it's been. About maybe two weekends after that, um, somebody peed in a neighbor's yard. This was a college kid. And uh, my neighbors put up no trespassing signs to keep them out. I'm figuring, why would you want anybody to pee in your yard? And neighbor is threatening to mace someone if they do it again. And I'm like, well, I understand what you're saying, but you might get in trouble. But he has a wife, one or two daughters. I'm sure they don't want to see that. Um, I'd like to be able to hear a comment from one or all of you. Am I asking too much or can we improve this situation? Um, I'm going to sit down now. Well, we got your, your contact information here. Yep. We'll pass off your concerns to the department heads because um, that's more appropriate for the people that run the departments. I feel like I'm getting a runaround at the police department. I mean, I can't get a definite answer one way or the other. Well, we got, got our acting city administrator here. Um, we'll 
he's we've got the information. We'll make sure that that administration has it to look into it. Yeah, and I can. Sure, I can. Uh, I can get your. I've got your contact information. I can make sure this gets to Howie and someone gets back with you with some. Um, but I agree. You know, um, we can always do a better job. I'm not saying you guys are perfect. I'm never going to say that. I mean, I have a lot of respect for the police department. I think they do a pretty good job. You know, they put up with a lot of bull that most of us would never put up with. But I also think if I want to contact a supervisor, give me an email. Give me a time to get with the person. Um, if they give me a, you know, am I allowed to protect myself in my own house or am I going to get sued or something? Or am I allowed to protect my own property? None of that sure. is ever addressed at all. We, we can make sure you get all those answers. Yeah, there's certain things you can and can't do, but we, it's easier to give that so you have it in writing and you understand what are the rules. Writing is much better, but mm -hmm. you know, this seems like this problem is going to get worse if it's not addressed. Mm -hmm. I will get back with you on it. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yep, you're welcome. Uh, we'll go through now. Uh, let's see, start with the council comments. Uh, Mrs. Gregory. Um, so it is beautiful outside. Go take advantage of the park. There is the, um, I don't know how to say the, the acronym. Was it? Uh, uh, the, uh, bundle up and go outside. <laughs> bundle, yeah. yeah, it's bundle up and go outside. So, um, you know, go, please, yeah. please go see the uh, art installation that's out there. Um, I was hoping to get over there today, but I didn't get a chance to. So I'm definitely going to go check it out later this week, uh, weather permitting. And I think, you know. There's, there's some really great things that you can see. Go visit the zoo. Um, I think, do we, it, did we get, a, there was a new something over there, I think. I can't remember what it was, but. Um, yes, and I don't have it written down. But yeah, yes, we got some new. We got some new critters over there. So, um, you know, go get out of the house. It's, it, we've all been cooped up. We're ready for spring, um, you know, and, you know, have fun. Um, just that um, I just don't want to, I don't want anybody to forget about three weeks ago I had given a letter in to um, remember that letter Mr. Boda yes I'm looking for some feedback on that and encompass some things and questions in regards to some budgeting and, and trying to get ahead of some um, things before we head into our, our budget hearings coming up soon I know there's been a lot of transition I just didn't want that to be lost in the dust and of course, as always, there was another plea today about um, donating blood. Um, we're at a crisis level. And I have an appointment myself for Saturday at 945 to donate some whole blood. And if you are healthy enough and you're fortunate enough to be healthy enough, um, one pint of blood can save three lives. Please donate blood. That's it. Um, so in honor of continuing the, the what I mentioned last uh, meeting about Women's History Month, uh, next Tuesday, the Wicomico, um Commission for Women is hosting an open house for the Bring Your Own Baby program. If anyone's interested, um, it's going to be Tuesday, March 14th, 4 to 5.30 at um, 315-161 Winter Park Place Drive, which is the uh, Bay Area Center for Independent Living. It really phenomenal, phenomenal program they have going on there. And um, according to uh, Catherine Jones, who uh, is leading that incentive in that program, they're having some phenomenal feedback with their employees. So really encourage you all to come visit. All the members of the Women's Commission will be in attendance, I and myself. So please feel free to come out. It's going to be a lovely night. Um, just wanted to everybody to put on their calendar uh, September 22nd to the 24th, which is the Maryland Folk Festival. Mm -hmm. And if anybody is interested in volunteering, uh, you can select the Become a Volunteer button on the website, and it will take you into United Way's uh, volunteer system. And so we encourage everybody to volunteer for that. Today is also Council Vice President April Jackson's birthday. She's not here today, but... Uh, April, happy birthday. We have a cake here <laughs> that uh, For you. we're going to send a picture to you. Uh, <laughs> and happy birthday to April. Um, and then administration comments? I'll let Mayor, he's online. Uh, Jack, you go first. Yes, good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's good to see everybody in person. We're so, sort of in person. 
I can't wait to tomorrow to get back, uh, get back in the office. Um, first uh, and foremost, I'd like to apologize. Uh, last week I had a, uh, a battle with COVID and I can only imagine what it would have been like if I didn't have five shots. Uh, but I've, uh, I've worked through that and I'll be wearing a mask for five days. Uh, but I do want to apologize to all the people that I've had I made commitments to, to be at events, speak at engagements, and had to cancel as a result of the COVID. Um, so please uh, accept my apology, and I look forward to speaking with your organizations and meeting again. Uh, second up, uh, to second Angela's comment about the blood, uh, anybody that can give blood, we really appreciate it. Please do so. We're, we are extremely low. And the last item, just to remind everybody that on this uh, Sunday, we have the beginning of daylight saving time. So uh, got to spring ahead and fall behind. So this is springing ahead. So uh, please don't forget to do that. So you're not late for church. Okay, uh, that's that's all I have. And uh, thanks very much. Mr. Mayor. I just a couple quick things um, as those um, who know Julia Glenn's last day as city administrator was this past Friday. So ta-da, here I am. Um, I'm looking forward to filling this role in a, in a, a more full-time capacity. I've got my new name tag and everything. So I'm here <laughs> to stay. Um, second, um, we are going to be passing out a new Zoom link for the council meeting starting next week because this was attached to Julia. So we're going to have a new one that's coming out. So just if you have it earmarked or booked on your browser, it's going to be a new uh, Zoom link coming out uh, with all of the agenda information. And then finally, um, tickets for Hops on the River um, came out starting on last Wednesday. Um, that is April 15th. It's only limited 350 tickets. So Muir, hope you've already got your ticket. I, I got to get on it. Yeah. <laughs> but that's it. I forgot about that. Thank you for the reminder. Thank you. Yeah. I did forget about that. Uh, if there's not anything else, uh, we are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.